I'm here with Loman Henry. He's the chairman and CEO of the Lincoln Institute of Public Opinion and Research. We're here at the Doug Mastriano campaign among several of his followers. What is it about him that resonates with so many people that he's uh, resonating with? I'll tell you, Doug Mastriano has put together probably the most extensive grassroots operation I've ever seen in 40 years of being in politics. And I think it's because he's willing to go out there and fight for things that people care about. He took on Tom Wolf during the COVID shutdowns. Uh, he has taken on the establishment when necessary. And he really goes out and fights the fights that people want to have fought. And we all know that in this election, it's the kitchen table issues that have mattered because with inflation out of control, gas prices up, food prices up, concerns over heating costs coming up this winter, Doug's been out on the campaign trail talking about the issues that people actually care about. And I think as a result, he's built a tremendous grassroots base of enthusiasm. Now it's typical in midterm campaigns, uh, midterm elections to have lower voter turnout than presidential elections. What are you expecting for turnout during this election? I'll tell you, I was at our polling place in Dauphin County all day today. The turnout was off the charts, at least presidential level uh, in Dauphin County, which is central Pennsylvania. The projections are between 55 and 60 percent turnout, and that's a presidential level. Uh, there were lines of people waiting to get in this morning. So voters are energized, they're tuned into this election, and they understand a lot matters because they're feeling it in their own pocketbooks. And you mentioned several of the issues that Doug Mastriana has ran on. Is there a specific issue that's particularly motivating voters to come out this year? Any issue that which? Is there a specific issue that's motivating voters to come out this year? I really think it is the economy. Inflation has eaten into everybody's paychecks, and even though folks are getting pay increases, they're not keeping up with the rate of inflation. You have over 14% inflation in food items, not to mention gas, heating oil. We're seeing up to 30% increases in electric prices in Pennsylvania. Doug's been talking about that, and people are saying, yeah, I sit at my kitchen table, and I'm trying to write out my bills every month, and the money doesn't go as far as it needs to. He's talking about things that matter to me. All right, Loman Henry, thank you very much for joining us.